winner this week, Beats by Dr. Dre. Beats is involved in a flurry of press regarding sports league sponsorships. England's poor performance in the Rugby World Cup is being partly blamed on the fact that players were not allowed to wear Beats on the field, as Samsung is the official audio sponsor. This comes almost a year after star quarterback Colin Kaepernick was fined by the NFL for wearing Beats headphones at a post-game press conference when Bose was the official sponsor of the NFL. Beats has used sports and celebrity endorsements to generate an impressive YouTube following of almost a half a million subscribers, more than sports-centric brands including Nike and Under Armour combined. How do you spell denial? LVMH. If you ask LVMH their approach to Amazon, they say they have a zero engagement policy with Amazon. However, when looking at product sales, LVMH products are more popular on Amazon than nearly every other prestige beauty enterprise. Why does that make them a loser? because their products are sold on the gray market via third-party merchants, typically more inexpensively than on the brand site. A recently launched Dior Men's Fragrance is available for $22 less on Amazon than on Dior.com. The winners here, P&G, Cody, and L'Oreal, who benefit from their partnerships with Amazon because Amazon limits the volume of gray market products for brand partners. Or put another way, brands that refuse to officially distribute through Amazon find that they have more products available on Amazon. The message from Amazon to brands is clear. Work with us or we will fuck with you. A winner, Alibaba. Alibaba is often compared to Amazon, but its business model is actually closer to eBay, providing technology infrastructure and reach to businesses and brands, but doesn't have any inventory of its own, making it easier to expand with higher margin business. Alibaba revenues jumped 45% versus Amazon's 20% last year. In addition, Alibaba's business model is far less capital intensive. Both platforms claim to have generated almost $6 billion in cash. However, Amazon spent $4 billion of this cash in capital expenditures versus Alibaba, who spent only $769 million. Keep in mind, Alibaba boasts an 80% market share in its home market versus Amazon's 30%. A loser, Walmart, who saw its value surpassed by Amazon. Keep in mind, Amazon's revenue is now bigger than Walmart's revenue in 1990. The world is definitely shifting. The Air saw $11 billion of their combined net worth. That's the Walmart kids evaporate last week as shares of the retailer plunged on lower earnings outlook for the coming fiscal year. But don't cry them a river. The heirs control more wealth than the bottom 40% of American households. If there's a revolution in this country, it's going to begin on aisle five of a Walmart. We'll see you next week. Say you want a revolution.